All right, this is Detroit Borg doing another demonstration. This time we're doing the VGA adapter for the iPad. Now this connector is very similar to uh, other Apple adapters, uh, except this time we have this uh, dock connector and a female VGA connector. So let's go ahead and connect it to a monitor. VGA adapter can be connected to any of the two Apple iPad docks. So I have the standard keyboardless iPad dock and the keyboard dock, which is what I'll be using for this demo. Let's go ahead and connect it. All I need now is to connect my VGA input. You can also connect an audio source. Okay, let's turn this around and get our iPad docked. All right, now let's take a look at the monitor. As you can see here, I have a standard computer monitor hooked up to it. You can hook up anything you want that will accept a VGA connector. You can also add other dongles or adapters to the VGA connector. So you can uh, connect DVIs or HDMI inputs. Let's go ahead and try the first thing. Let's go ahead and try playing a movie with the iPod. Let's go ahead and play Star Trek. As you can see, the screen on the iPad just displays the poster art for the movie and you have the controls. The video output's actually on the monitor only. However, there is one complication which I didn't expect. Let's take a look at that. When playing DRM content like a purchased movie on iTunes, this pop-up will, will be displayed after maybe a few seconds of playback. Cannot play movie. The connected display is not authorized to play the protected movies. I'm not sure why this is. I assume that the copyright holder does not want this played on other devices without authorization. Let's click OK. So unfortunately that doesn't work too well. Other things do play back such as podcasts. So let's go to iPod. Let me go to my podcasts. Let's play MacBreak Weekly. It's time for Mac Break Weekly, episode 189, where we finally all got our iPads, and we're going to take a look at the good, the bad, and the... Well, there's no ugly. So yes, uh, podcast can play back. And Lieber, once again, you see a splash Mac screen Weekly. with the controls on the iPad itself, while the video goes directly to your monitor. And of course, the audio is also coming out of my monitor. From people you trust. Let's take a look at other content. YouTube also will play back on an external display. So let's play back one of my videos. Let's do the accessories. So once again, the video is playing directly on the display while the controls are on the iPad. All right, today some of my accessories started arriving for my iPad. One of them is this dock. Uh, this is just the dock itself. Not so I can pause it or scrub it. It's not fully downloaded yet. Play it again. Okay, it's just this little box. Some applications do allow you to play back video on an external display. One of them is TwitPad. Prompt from USB. So we're Listen running video in an app and it's displaying to an external monitor. Not all apps do this, so let's go perfectly. take a look at one that I'm doesn't. Sure this is no surprise to you, but it was a great So although the I have audio output, with limited commercials. I don't have the video output. It's playing right in the app. 
AT&T covers 97% of all Americans. So whether you're in Portland, Oregon, or Portland, okay. Maine... Beyond Movie Playback, there is also Keynote. Now, Keynote will allow you to play slideshows to an external display. So let's go to Keynote. Oh, it's sideways. Well, let's go ahead and just play. So now you can see my presentation on the display while the controls are actually on the iPad. So if I want to advance, I just tap the next key. So this is particularly handy if you're doing a presentation at a venue or a conference. You can just bring your iPad instead of your MacBook. Of course, you also have audio, so you can output audio to the uh, speakers in the AV system. Another feature that plays to an external monitor is slideshow. However, you can't play slideshow from the lock screen. So if we play it from here, it won't be displayed on the monitor. But if you go right to the Photos app, you'll be able to play back. Again, this has been a demonstration of the VGA adapter for the Apple iPad. Please rate and subscribe. Thanks for watching.